Hartman from Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. Going to talk today a little bit about breath holding spells in children. Um, this is um, for strictly for Westwood Mansfield Pediatric patients. If you're not a member of Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics, you're welcome to come. But I, we would recommend you follow your pediatrician's recommendations if you feel they are reasonable. Breath holding spells occur in a small percentage of children, probably three to five percent. These types of episodes happen with oftentimes sudden sharp pains in kids from six months to six years of age. I know I had a daughter, and I'd like to relate that story to you who had these. Uh, she's now 24 and doing perfectly fine. She, we were in a video store one day at night when she was nine months, and I was holding her in my arms, and she hit a shelf. When she hit the shelf, um, she started to cry, ah, then stopped crying, go, held her breath with her eyes wide open, turned blue, and then went limp. My poor wife was frightened to death. I knew what it was. It was a breath holding spell because she woke up 10 seconds later. She jerked for a second, then woke up. People with seizures, which is oftentimes what parents get frightened about, um, people with see kids with seizures will not wake up for at least 10 to 30 minutes and will be very disoriented. Children that have sudden sharp pain that induces these episodes will wake up within 10, 15 seconds at most after the episode. Um, in her case, pain always precipitated it. I accidentally pinched her belly once when I was clipping her into a high chair. She did it then. Um, and then one other time she did it. Now, grandparents will suggest things like blowing in the face, putting a washcloth on their face. The best thing to do is leave them alone. Their brain is not going to be damaged from lack of oxygen in such a brief episode. Um, if a child goes for you know, 30, 40 seconds like this, then you've got to make sure you get an ambulance to come. Because there are times when kids can't distinguish a seizure from this. And even when you have a breath holding spell, it's not always bad to come to the pediatrician and to talk about it because it's a very frightening experience for parents for the first time. These can last up to six years of age. The old myth that these were meant to, these were tantrums that kids did and were breath holding spells and that they did this to manipulate their parents is purely a myth. Children don't try to manipulate you with breath holding spells. I have seen in the office several times uh, some breath holding spells. Once when kids got shots and once when a child, when they looked in their ear, that induced breath holding spells. And remember, it's almost always preceded by pain. It's between six months and six years of age. Before or after that, it could be something else. And the, the time after they turn blue and go completely limp is only about 10 seconds. Then they wake up and they're perfectly oriented and fine. But it is also helpful sometimes to come to the office and to talk to us about it um, because it can be pretty, pretty traumatic appearing. This is Dr. Lester Hartman from Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics reviewing about breath holding spells. Proactive in your child's care um, and uh, have a good day. Thank you very much.